Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the previous lessons, we discussed the discovery, structure, nomenclature, stereochemistry, and clinical uses of penicillins. The links are available in the description below this video. Watch them. In this lesson, we shall learn the structure activity relationships of penicillin. The penicillins are formerly 6 amino 7 oxo 4 thia 1 aza bicyclo 3 to 1 heptane 2 carboxylic acids but are commonly named as PNAMs, a designation in which the sulfur atom is given top priority rather than the bridgehead nitrogen atom. Other beta-lactam antibacterials are named using the similar common designations that is the cephalosporins as cephems. Using this nomenclature, the penicillins have the prerequisite carboxylic acid group placed at the C3 position. The west end substituent is joined to the C6 center which is animated and is usually substituted via monoacylation thus constituting a variety of C6 acyl amido substituents. The beta-lactam carbonyl center is located at position 7 and the C2 center contains the geminal dimethyl substitution characteristic of the penicillins. See the structure. The SAR of penicillins can be studied under six following headings. Number 1. Substitutions at C1 or sulfur atom. Number 2. Substitutions at C2. Number 3. Substitutions at C3. Number 4. Substitutions at C4. Number 5. Substitutions at C5. And number 6. Substitutions at C6. Number 1. Substitutions at C1 or at sulfur atom. Sulfur is the only atom tolerated at position 1 of the penicillins in order to retain appreciable antibacterial activity. Unlike some other members of the beta-lactam family of antibacterials, the replacement of sulfur with oxygen or with carbon is unacceptable in terms of antibacterial activity. The sulfur atom can be oxidized to the corresponding sulfoxide or sulfone analogs. Derivatives of this type do not rival the antibacterial properties of the naturally occurring penicillins. However, penicillin sulfoxides have found use in the synthesis of new beta-lactam antibacterials. The sulfoxide can serve as a means of protecting the sulfur position during chemical manipulations. Furthermore, penicillin sulfoxides are important precursors to cephalosporins via the Morin rearrangement. Number 2. Substitutions at C2. The geminal dimethyl group at C2 is characteristic of the penicillins and arises as a consequence of biosynthesis. A number of variations have been obtained by chemical synthesis. In general, no appreciable advantage has been realized. Interesting exceptions are the C2-C3 methylenopertams which structurally resemble the penicillins but actually behave more as cephalosporins in terms of penicillin protein binding profiles and spectrum of antibacterial activity. Number 3. Substitutions at C3 in general, derivatization of the C3 carboxylic acid functionality is not tolerated unless the free penicillin carboxylic acid can be generated in vivo. A number of penicillin carboxylate esters are useful marketed agents but antibacterial activity is attributed to the parent penicillin that arises from ester cleavage. Simple alkyl and aryl penicillin esters are cleaved slowly and are not useful prodrugs. However, doubly activated penicillin esters such as alkanoyl oxy alkyl congeners undergo rapid cleavage in vivo to generate active penicillin. Most of the penicillin products are derived from ampicillin, pivampicillin and becampicillin are examples although ester products of mesilinum and other compounds are available. Number 4. Substitutions or variations at N4. The nitrogen atom at the ring junction that is at position 4 is vital for antibacterial activity. The nitrogen atom contributes to the reactivity of the beta-lactam carbonyl center. In theory, other atoms may be able to replace nitrogen and keep with the prerequisite of a strained ring system. However, compounds that contain carbon or oxygen in place of the nitrogen, although being part of strained ring systems, are inactive.
The nitrogen center is crucial for a number of reasons including its contribution to the ring strain partially via resonance as well as for factors pertaining to enzyme recognition. Number 5. Substitutions at C5 Substitutions particularly at C5 of a penicillin ring is not tolerated. Thus, the position 5 of lactam ring is unsubstituted. And number 6. Amino West End substitutions at C6. Most marketed penicillins differ only in the structure of the West End substituent. These can be segregated according to the type of West End side chain. The design and development of the West End substituents are aimed at strengthening various weaknesses which have traditionally hampered penicillin agents in terms of activity, stability, resistance and absorption or distribution. Another goal has been to incorporate West Ends that impart improved stability towards bacterial enzymes or to SD conditions that are encountered following oral administration. In recent years, the focus has been upon designing new penicillins that are active against some troublesome gram-negative pathogens for example Pseudomonas aeruginosa or gram-positive organisms that are now frequently resistant to earlier agents. Some simple requirements at C6 substitutions are number 1. The C6 amine moiety itself is necessary for appreciable antibacterial activity but a substitution of the amine via monoacylation can afford much more potent congeners. Number 2. Alterations that abolish the amide character of the West End are detrimental. Number 3. Only carboxamido derived West End moieties are tolerated. Number 4. Sulfonylation or phosphorylation of the C6 amine substituent that is sulfonamide or phosphoramide containing West End substituents respectively are devoid of useful antibacterial activity. Number 5. Imide or carbamate containing West Ends are inferior. And number 6. The penicillin West End substituent is nearly always joined through an amide linkage to the C6 nitrogen atom of the bicyclic beta lactam nucleus. We will discuss more on the amino West End substitutions at C6 with examples in the next lesson. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the structure activity relationships of penicillins. In the next video, we will continue to study the structure activity relationship of penicillins, particularly on the West End substitutions. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.